Ethical individualism was described by Rudolf Steiner in 1894, in his Philosophy of Freedom. While Steiner was born a clairvoyant, he was not born an ethical individualist, he had to train his thinking to become one, just like anybody else will have to do. Steiner developed his thinking through an education in mathematics, science and philosophy. What is an ethical individualist, anyway? There are plenty of knowers. And there are plenty of doers. But the one who matters the most, is the knowing doer. The one, who acts, out of knowledge. This is the ethical individualist. The ethical individualist feels a part of each life situation he meets, but does not allow himself to be determined by it. He acquires knowledge of a situation by using the method of science, observational analysis, to discover the laws at work. The ethical individualist knows how to think scientifically. He also uses thinking in regards to ethics. The ethical individualist sees a certain value in all ethical principles. And always asks in each case, whether this or that principle is the more important. To select an ethical principle, he uses the method of philosophy, conceptual analysis, this method uses universalized or generalized concepts of things, rather than the specific details. This prevents outside influences from controlling the thinking. This thinking method, works with pure concepts. By thinking in pure concepts, knowledge is acquired by means of pure reasoning alone. Pure reasoning? intuitively selects the ethical principle to be applied. Developing the ability to enter into pure reasoning, is the key element in becoming a free-thinking, ethical individualist. The ethical individualist, is capable of rising to the level of, pure reasoning. At this level, the conduct of the ethical individualist, is not predetermined by one's own character or by an external authority. The action is not a stereotyped one that merely follows rules, nor is it one that is automatically performed in response to an external stimulus. Instead, it is an action determined purely and simply by its own ideal content. The ethical individualist carries out a deed that originates within himself. It is a free deed. But before a universal ethical principle can be realized, it first needs to be imaginatively translated, into a picture of specific action. This requires having a creative imagination. By creating idealistic imaginations, he envisions a goal to strive for. People who merely preach ethical codes, without being able to turn them into a plan of action, are morally unproductive. The ethical individualist is imaginative, and innovative. The world the ethical individualist wishes to transform is already living according to certain principles and laws. Such as the laws for understanding the world and its people, found in ecology, climatology, the study of culture, sociology, and psychology. Violating these existing laws and principles that hold things together, may cause unnecessary disruption. To avoid disruption, the ethical individualist, studies the general scientific knowledge in his field of work. 
with this knowledge, he arrives at the best way to skillfully implement his idealistic imaginations. He transforms the world without violating the natural laws already in place. The ethical individualist acquires the technical knowledge needed to successfully carry out his goal. The ethical individualist strives for sublimely great ideals, because they have become the content of his own being. They are his intuitions, and are the driving forces that empower his will, against all obstacles. He wants them, because the translation of his intuitions into reality, is his highest pleasure. He does not regard his ethical task as a matter of duty, but rather to follow his love for the deed. The ethical individualist is completely self-empowered. Those who aspire to become a self-empowered ethical individualist, find ways to train their mind in scientific thinking, pure reasoning, creative imagination, and acquire any technical skills needed in their field of work.